Good morning, this is Tracy Dingle down here at Metro RV here in Billings, Montana. Was this going to go over the uh, Keystone Hideout? This is one of our products that we have up here at Metro RV. These are built by Keystone. They're one of the largest manufacturers of RV in the world. So when it comes to overall dealer aspect, overall quality, you're not going to find anything really better out there. I'm going to kind of show you what kind of makes this thing tick and what makes it different than our competitors. Uh, on this one, we're going to start off with warranties. You get a three-year structural warranty. You're going to get a one-year overall, three to five year on the appliances, depending on manufacturer, and 12 year on the roof for manufacturer defect on the rubber TPO membrane roof that is fully walkable. Going over to the uh, battery system, you're going to get two uh, lithium 12 volt batteries in parallel with each other. So that way you're all set up on the lithium end. Plus with that, you're going to get 200 watts of solar on this one from the factory, which is unheard of in this industry especially in this market segment so you're already set up on that end two uh, 20 pound tanks with automatic switchovers for your LP you set one to your primary once it gets down to 10% automatically goes the adjacent tank on pressure so that way you don't have to come out here in the middle of the night and swap your tanks full power tongue jacks up front for ease of setup and teardown going into the passer right here uh, you're going to be able to do a inverter setup on this and then as well you do got your Victron uh, battery management system and solar management system up there. It's that little blue box that is fully Bluetooth capable so that way you can check battery life, battery health, you can check how much amperage is going in and out. It's a very very great system so that way ease of maintenance, longevity, you can take uh, care of your batteries. Going to the waterworks, you're going to get your City Connect that bypasses your potable, goes straight to the faucet. Black tank flush located right there to clean out the inside of the black tank so you don't get false readings. You don't get any caking on the sensors, plus you use less chemical over a period of time. Uh, right here is going to be your potable fill with a breather valve, so that way you can't uh, sit there and overload it and pop tanks. One of those safety features, just got to keep an eye on it though. Right here is going to be your hot and cold outdoor shower. So that way you can clean out your tubes, you can clean out all that stuff once you're draining. Yep. On this one, it is a western package, so it's going to have a fully enclosed underbelly. It's going to have full 30,000 BTU furnaces that go down into that underbelly and keep everything heated. When it comes to the poles, they go up into the underbelly where there is heat. And as you can see, they're all urethane foamed out. Right here, you can see dowel style poles instead of cable. They're all knife style, so that way you don't have to worry about popping cables. You don't have to worry about them getting froze up and snapping them. Right here, you're going to get full Darko finished uh, slide boxes and then Darko finished on all the uh, underbelly components on the inside. And then full rack and pinion slides. When it comes to the uh, steel siding on these ones, they're going to be 0.24 gauge with a full spruce uh, structure. So that way, longevity wise, this one's going to last a good long while for you. A little bit thicker than everybody else in the industry too so it is going to be a little bit more resilient to weather and it's going to be a little bit more resilient to a whole bunch of other things like denton and ding when it comes to edges windows they use a product called buell tape before they sink this window in after they cnc route it they put this buell tape right there which is a malleable rubber and plastic so that way you get the proper seal so that way water and that kind of stuff doesn't get in there Two biggest things, if you can mitigate it, is going to be water and vibration. If you can mitigate those two things, you're going to get a very long-lasting coach. Have a lot of fun times, a lot of good memories. 50 amp service, because this one does run two ACs, 30 foot in length, and then I do give you a camper kit, which is going to give you adapters from 50 amp, 30 amp, to 110. So that way, if you get into parks where you can adapt down, we give you all that free of charge. Full pack and play door right here, which you can use that for kayaks, bikes, tack gear, all that kind of stuff. You can put it right through here. You don't have to bring it all the way through the coach. Ease of access, a lot less tracking, bringing dirt inside the coach, and this makes it a lot overall easier on that end. Full backup camera equipped too as well if you want to add that on. Full size spare tires, full LED lights all the way around inside and out. Storage right here underneath the bunks full electric stab jacks all the way around so you don't have to sit there and crank them ease up ease of set up and tear down on your party side over here you're going to get a uh, plug-in for uh, TVs get a hookup right there to put the TV 
any get 110 right there with an inverter plug-in if you do want to put an inverter on this coach led light locator right there for your embers back end of your 30,000 btu furnace hot water heater is a six gallon dsi hot water heater full solid steps going up into the coach get lex flexing them you can bring them up into the coach so if you go into areas where there's ruts you don't have to worry about them getting ripped off you don't have to worry about them getting gunked up not getting them in and out if they get tweaked it's a really really good system so coming on the inside like i said this is a western package it's going to come with a fully heated and enclosed underbelly it's going to come with bigger furnaces it's going to come with the uh, vacuum system which is located right here clean out the inside of the coach so that way if you have kids dogs husbands with uh, muddy shoes you can clean everything up they put it in a specific area so that way you can go all the way from front to rear on the coach going into the galley area you're going to get full hardex solid surface countertops you're going to get full stainless steel sinks full goosenex faucets with hoses nice thing about this is if you want to use a crock pot or a hot plate you can cook in the sink not worry about it melting through because it's not plastic wash it out stow it away and you're done when it comes to the plumbing and uh, waterworks false panel right there to get to the back end of the hot water heater to bypass it and then when it comes to the plumbing in it it's going to be all pex plumbing throughout the coach so ease of maintenance on that end if it does freeze it'll expand eight times its own size doesn't burst use a shark bite and you're done with uh fixing it and they are color coded red and blue so you know which line you're working on go into the cabinetry full solid faces full pine or ply boxes full steel rollerball bearing guides that are 75 pounds a piece full furion uh, gas cooktops high output in the front so you can boil a pot of water two low outputs in the rear nice big oven does have a light in there too so if you're baking cookies you can see them so they're not getting burnt full 12 volt fridges got bigger capacity so if you're bringing a lot of people you don't have to keep going down and filling it up you got enough capacity so you don't have to go to the grocery store all the time and that runs solely on 12 volt pantry system is located right here if you do not want to use it as a pantry you can use it as a coat closet or a closet full wood doors all the way around on top of this when it comes to your heating system you got full metal grates going into the back over here you're going to get into the bunkhouse uh, this does lift up for that pack and play door so you can get everything in gas strutted right here you got a little lip on the bottom of it so if you do want to use it as a pseudo crib style you can put those underneath if the kids are old enough and uh, utilize that area or you can use it for storage too because it's got a 300 uh, pound load capacity got all your hookups for USB and everything right here 13,500 BTU airs and tin boxing so that way dryer vent tubing is not going to crimp that down and get flow issues over a certain period of time you're going to get a 5500 BTU electric fireplace on 110 full TVs when it comes to your uh, center over here you're going to have your master switches and everything slide boxes awnings everything's all up there hot water heaters so that way you can keep it up and out of the way where kids can't touch it going into the bathroom area you get full porcelain commode toilets full glass enclosed showers you get a mirror that you could actually see in it's not too high and not too low you get great storage pass through on this side and the other side for all your cloths and all your terry towels going up into the master quarter full queen beds second ac full storage up underneath the bed there's all your uh it's going to be for your power and your vacuum four closets on both sides of the bed 110 power on both sides of the bed and then when it comes to that camper kit uh, here at metro rv we're going to give you those dump downs from 50 amp to 110 we're going to give you pressure regulating valve for your city connect give you a sewer tube uh, we're going to give you a full walkthrough on it with a certified technician we're going to give you all that free of charge chemicals go with that uh, this one already has batteries on it so you're already equipped on that end but if you guys have any other questions please give me a call my name is Tracy Dinkle up here at Metro RV here in Billings Montana I hope you're having a great year so far and have a happy camping season thank you and take care